Have you ever wondered why white gold looks like silver, but is considered just as valuable as yellow gold? It's not actually found in nature like traditional gold, yet it's one of the most popular choices for engagement rings and fine jewelry. But what exactly is white gold? How is it made? And what makes it so special? Let's dive into the fascinating process behind this luxurious metal right here on History of Simple Things. First things first, white gold isn't a naturally occurring metal. Unlike yellow gold, which can be mined directly from the earth, white gold is created by alloying pure gold with other white metals. This means that jewelers mix gold with elements like nickel, palladium, or silver to achieve a pale silvery appearance. However, even with these additions, white gold still has a slightly warm yellowish tint. That's where rhodium plating comes in, but we'll get to that in a bit. The process of making white gold starts with pure gold, typically 24 carats. The problem with pure gold is that it's too soft for everyday wear, so to make it more durable and change its color, it's blended with other metals. The specific mix of metals determines the final hue and strength of the white gold alloy. For example, nickel is a common choice because it significantly whitens gold while also making it more durable. However, since some people are allergic to nickel, palladium-based white gold is a popular alternative. Palladium is more expensive but gives the gold a softer, more elegant white tone while keeping it hypoallergenic. Once the metals are mixed, they are melted down at extremely high temperatures, usually over 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit. This molten mixture is then poured into molds or rolled into sheets and wires, which can be shaped into various jewelry designs. Even after being mixed with white metals, white gold still has a slightly warm or grayish hue. To achieve the bright silvery finish that people love, most white gold jewelry is coated with a thin layer of rhodium. Rhodium is a rare precious metal from the platinum family known for its brilliant luster and exceptional resistance to tarnish. This plating process not only enhances the appearance of white gold, but also adds a protective layer that makes the jewelry more resistant to scratches and wear. Over time though, this rhodium coating can wear off, revealing the natural color of the white gold beneath. That's why many people get their white gold jewelry replated every few years to maintain its fresh, shiny look. White gold has gained immense popularity over the years, especially for engagement rings and wedding bands. One of the biggest reasons is its modern and elegant appearance. It pairs beautifully with diamonds and other gemstones, creating a sleek and sophisticated look that many people love. Additionally, white gold is often seen as a more affordable alternative to platinum. While platinum is naturally white and hypoallergenic, it's also denser and more expensive. White gold offers a similar aesthetic at a lower price point while still maintaining high durability and value. When shopping for jewelry, many people compare white gold to other metals like platinum, silver, and even stainless steel. While silver may look similar at first glance, it's much softer and more prone to tarnishing, requiring frequent polishing. Stainless steel, on the other hand, is extremely durable and affordable, but lacks the luxury and prestige of precious metals. Platinum is often considered the closest alternative to white gold, but it has its own pros and cons. While platinum is naturally white and doesn't require rhodium plating, it's significantly heavier and tends to scratch more easily. 
The upside is that when platinum scratches, the metal shifts rather than wearing away, making it last longer over time. However, the higher cost of platinum makes white gold a more attractive option for those seeking a balance of beauty, durability, and affordability. One thing to keep in mind with white gold is that it requires some maintenance to keep it looking its best. Since the rhodium plating wears off over time, it's a good idea to have your jewelry replated every one to three years, depending on how often you wear it. You can also clean your white gold pieces at home using a mild soap and warm water solution, along with a soft brush to remove dirt and oils. It's also best to avoid exposing white gold to harsh chemicals, such as chlorine and household cleaning products, as these can cause the metal to weaken or lose its shine. Storing white gold jewelry separately from other pieces can also prevent scratches and prolong its lifespan. As jewelry trends continue to evolve, white gold remains a staple in the industry. In recent years, new alloys and improved rhodium plating techniques have enhanced the durability and color consistency of white gold. Some jewelers are even exploring alternative coatings to make the plating last longer, reducing the need for frequent replating. Additionally, as sustainability becomes a bigger focus in the jewelry world, more brands are offering recycled white gold, which is made by melting down old jewelry and refining the metal for reuse. This not only reduces environmental impact, but also provides an ethical option for those concerned about the sourcing of new gold. So there you have it, the story of white gold, from how it's made to why it remains one of the most beloved metals in fine jewelry. It's a fascinating blend of science, craftsmanship, and luxury that gives us a metal that's both beautiful and practical. Whether you own white gold jewelry or are considering buying some, understanding what makes it special can help you appreciate it even more. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.